Right guys, we're back with another episode of the FC24 Arsenal career mode. And as you can see by the gameplay in the background, we are straight away going to sign David Raya permanently. So that is all done and I don't forget about it at the end of the season. So that is done. So there we go. First signing of the January transfer window. Although he was our player anyway, the price rating is a B. Eh, I'll take that. We don't care. So here we go. The biggest game of the season. We even have El Nenny in attendance today. That just shows how huge this game is. Oh no, we could be in trouble. Slide. Oh, brilliant tackle Zinchenko. Man City are all over me at the moment. Haaland. Haaland. Jesus. Whoa, we're close now. Oh my days, we could be in here. Jesus. Jesus is through here. He's just got the goalkeeper to beat. And I've forgotten it's Edison in goal. Right, we're going to take it short. Saka to Jesus. Back to Saka. Whip it in towards Gabriel. Headed away. Saliba wins the second ball. Odegaard on the spin. Oh, Edison again. Last chance before half time. Declan Rice. Declan Rice still hits it, son. Oh, my God. That could have been his first goal. I haven't scored with him yet. Oh, it's half time. Saka running down the wing at the start of the second half. He's still going. I'm going to go for it. Oh. Wait, what? Where is my defence? Where is my defence? My two centre-halves are holding hands. The ball still hasn't gone out of play and I haven't had a chance to get my subs on. Jesus! Meanwhile, forces a great from Edison again. Finally, we can get our subs on. Oh no, Foden is in. Good save, Ramsdale. We're back, baby. This is end-to-end -end at the moment. Jesus, I have no options really, other than Saka, that's a great through ball, come on, Jesus wept, Edison is just too good, I need to win this now, yes, come on, Odegaard, this is the last moments of the game, Trossard to Odegaard, oh my god, why does it have to be him on the end of the cross, if that was Ivan Tony or... An Aussie man, I am winning this game. But still, I will take a 0-0 draw against City. So next up we have Chelsea, the mid-table mandems away at Stamford Bridge. And damn, did you see that drone footage? That was really wicked. But um, it's time to put them in their place like we are going to do in real life, by the way. Started bright here. Zinchenko, Martinelli, hit it. <laughs> Did that just come off the bar? Odegaard is in. Come on. This time we'll make it count. No, we won't. It's still nil-nil somehow. Um, but yeah, no worries. We've got a corner though. We'll take this short with Martinelli. Saka. Back to Martinelli. Box it. It wasn't a bad ball, but it just falls a little bit too short. Saka again. Martinelli with another corner here towards Saliba. Oh, the keeper hasn't judged it properly. Saka! Man, we should be about three up already. Oh, Rice, look at that vision. Martinelli, you're not catching him. There is no way. But the finish can stop him. What is this? No. There is no way this is happening. He has just given... A penalty. I blocked the ball. No, I refuse. We are diving straight into the instant replay. And I'm proving to you that I definitely blocked the ball here. From Mikalo Mudrik as well. Of course it had to be. Well, here we go. He's about to take the shot. I mean, it's not clear as day. But... It touches the top of his toe. That is a good challenge. Oh my god. Come on, Aaron. Top left. Yes! My voice cracks a line. Come on. Get in the bin, Fernandez, with the old banana peels. A goal will be perfect before half time. Martinelli 
Declan Rice, why did I pass that? But he's still alive here. Martinelli! And it's the save from Sanchez. Can we put a good delivery in here? Saka. It's not bad. Jesus, though. Like, come on. I'm still drawing nil-nil with Chelsea. This is an embarrassment. Ben White at the start of the second half. To Jesus. Saved again by Sanchez. He's been incredible today. I just cannot score. Oh, my days. If you can get there. Wow, what a ball from Saka. Come on. Near post this time. Still doesn't work. Another set piece. Saka. Gabriel Sanchez. Give it a rest. Honestly, I've been done with goalkeepers enough today. Just allow me. 88th minute. This is the perfect time to score. Vieira, he's just been subbed on. And on that note, there is nothing I can do to beat this damn goalkeeper. Two minutes of added time. Oh, my days. I might as well just give in. If they score now, it would be so unfair. Oh, my days. I won that tackle. Jackson, saved by Ramsdale, and we've dropped two points. Man City, I can allow, but Chelsea... Now, it's time to discuss about transfers. Um, of course, we're not in the transfer window yet, but we've got some targets to go through. We've got Mark Wahey, of course, Hincapié, uh, Simicon, of course, we were linked with in the summer. The majority of these have been linked with Arsenal um, in the summer, so I want to keep this semi-realistic. We've got Diamande, who is a very tasty player. Lucas Paqueta... Who may be my number one target in January. I feel like we do need a number eight. And um, it's not going to be my cam. Because of course we've got plenty of players in that position. But as a centre mid. He ticks every box. And he's Brazilian as well. So maybe he's a potential target for us in January. We've got Paulinho, who of course wasn't linked with Arsenal in the summer, but still someone who was linked with a move away in the summer, so maybe we could jump on that. We have Elise as well because of that finesse shot trait, and you guys know I do love bending them all right. So, um, yep, we've listed him. A one year, I'm not really too sure about him, maybe a little bit too early, but he is still a potential target of mine. Evan Ferguson, a potential Arsenal target for next summer. Um, in real life, Cubo as Saka's backup potentially, and then Zuba Mendy. So, two Real Sociedad players in there. And um, yeah, next up, of course, we have got the Champions League against Sevilla. It's a shame that my players are practically dead. So, um, seeing as we are through, we are going to make a couple of changes the likes of um, Martinelli for Trossard. And uh, Smith Rowe coming in as well. And then why not? Let's give Enketia a run out as well as Vieira. Here's Reese now. Hit it. Vieira! Oh my god, it's nearly gone out for a throw in. Oh, Trossard is in. Come on. One on one. I've been terrible with one on one so far. Goggles out, surely. I've missed. <laughs> oh, we could be through here. Smith Rowe, surely this time. Yes. 1-0, and I think that's Smith Rowe's first goal of the season. Damn, I don't think I've scored in this episode so far, other than the montage highlights, but live gameplay, I have not scored. 
in this episode, which is really embarrassing. But um, we've got the goal there. Good start in the second half. Enketia, Vieira, hit it, son. Oh, what a goal! Oh my word, Vieira, that is outrageous from him. Oh my days, that's been one of my favourite goals on this game so far. The best goal I've scored on here, clearly. Take a look at this. Outside of the boot. <laughs> In the top right corner as well. That's a spicy... Oh, we're in again. Smith Rowe, Trossard, 3-0. Just like that. So, so easy. And that should be game, set, match. And it's another goal for Trossard in the Champions League. He missed an absolute sitter at the start of the game. Yeah, didn't miss it this time. Uh, we're going to just sim to the end. And it stays 3-0. And the next episode is huge.